Eduardo, of course, is very experienced, so he'll be able to be the tail end. Oh, she does end up having the first jump down. Again, the shadows are quite big at the moment. You don't know what the horse is thinking. The jump is coming right at the in gate. Ooh. She has that one down as well. Ooh, struggled a little bit coming in. Just not quite balanced enough as she took off. But this is what you're going back to. Again, this is a, a combination that it would be good experience to get in here and do this for them. They've gone well here in the last few weeks, definitely in the water from that point of view. Um, but again, now they've got two good scores already behind them for Brazil. Eduardo de Menezes comes last. It's it's not all lost from that point. No, for sure. I mean, Eduardo can come in and still jump a clear round, and they'll still be on the four faults total. So, you know, it it's an interesting... It's great that she's getting experience here, and Eduardo, of course, can bring it the tail end of the course and uh, for the team. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how that plays out. But she definitely will be able to come away from this and say, okay, I've had this big experience now. And, uh, not, not a bad round at all, honestly. Really quite solid. Again, she won't be super happy with the score, but uh, uh, Brazil can definitely recover from that. Absolutely. Brazil could still stay on a score of four yet, but it means the four is definitely going to count because they've got 16 there from uh, Luciana Lucio, their third rider for the Brazilians. Uh, and again, from her point of view, a good finish, good solid finish. Exactly. You know, she had a couple of faults early and, and sort of midway through the course.